Hi, it's Becky. Um, we are going to talk about tips for managing and coping with stress and the, the alcohol bottles, the comfort foods, the things you saw just a minute ago are not your best and healthiest choices. You already know that. Uh, while they may sound similar, managing and coping with stress are two very distinct behaviors. <coughs> Management involves planning ahead and building systems of support before the stressors become overwhelming. Coping implies a sense of survival or just scrapping by during an episode of stress. And we all do that sometimes, but let's shift to management mode as much as we can. Now, creating a stress management plan doesn't have to be stressful. <laughs> that good news? It can be simple. It takes a little bit of forethought and planning, but once it's in place, it can help you through a hectic day. Consider the list that we're going to discuss right now and think of how to personalize it each for your life. Okay, create number one, create a support system. You likely already have a network of family and friends, but it's helpful to pinpoint exactly who in your web can help you and when. Don't just name them, write them down and maybe put their phone number, how you contact them. It's easier to reach out for support when a name and a number are readily available to you to use. Number two, block out alone time. This actually means time, flip in my notes, excuse me, licking my finger. Um, okay, this means time spent alone from distractions and visitors. You're encouraged to physically block out these times on your calendar so they really happen. This way, callers or families can't schedule over your time to recharge if you're a busy person. Don't give this up. Guard it with your life because it will affect your life. If you don't have a free hour, even five minutes alone can help. Okay, pri number three, prioritize your tasks. It's always gratifying to check off items from your to-do list, but often the easiest things get checked off first, or the squeaky wheels, right? And this leaves the larger, more important tasks waiting for too long, and that weighs on you. Be honest with yourself when creating and prioritizing your to-do list. Okay. Number, are we on number four, I think? Main time for sit. Make time for self-care. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean treating yourself to a bubble bath or bonbons. It actually means taking care of yourself by eating balanced meals, sleeping well, exercising, to name a few. few. Taking care of your body shouldn't be a luxury, so make self-care a priority. And again, write it on your calendar if you need to. Block out time to do it. Number five, this is the one I love, be active. Exercise can intimidate some, but it is enjoyable if you tailor it to your interests. What do you like to do? Put it in the comments. What, what active activities do you enjoy? It might be a leisurely walk or a vigorous game of soccer or gardening. Um, these are valid options for getting your body moving. Research has shown that regular exercise can lower cortisol levels and boost endorphins. So you're going to feel better and you actually are going to be better. Okay. I, I hope these tips have helped you. This is the end of this short series. Have a good day.